Morning traders, and this is your DAX daily review. So the daily we've got a bit of a, a piercing pattern. So in other words, we gapped down, we rallied, and we closed in the midway of the previous bar. So that is a bullish pattern. Um, it needs confirmation. You can see there's a bullish pattern. We didn't get confirmation, so it didn't play out. Pretty much we've bounced up and we've tested the 200 moving average here. Okay, so I'm just going to put that level in right there. So that's our 200 EMA. Now if we start working down into the lower time frames, you'll see uh, that's also starting to build some structure. So it could be a, a double bottom. You can see the divergence here. Okay, there's a low, there's a low. I suppose after that first three hour bar, that conversion division was confirmed. And we rallied. Okay, so at this stage, um, I don't really have a firm bias for a direction. There were sellers that were stepping in here. Uh, were they just taking profit or were they accumulating shorts? Uh, very difficult to, to ascertain, but um, there were definitely some sellers here. We've got a new trend line running. Okay, and then I think I'm going to go down to the half hour here because this is where the structure is at the moment and so you can see there we have some sort of a triangle this could be seen as a fake out okay so we drop below this trend line just to try and trap some some bears and we closed with a bit of a rally now the reason why I say it could be a fake out is because what we have here is a bit of a flag so ideally what you're looking for is this kind of setup. Okay, and if I look to the left, you can see there is some resistance here. Okay, so that to me makes the most sense at this stage. Is it still another move up to come into this area? Okay, that still makes a lot of sense. And remember yesterday we pointed out this um, uh, sorry, this uh, island reversal. And uh, the fact that we've got two days below it now is a fairly convincing signal. We can pretty much go all the way back up to this area here. And the gap is still open. See, there's the gap's open. And this gap's still open. Okay. So that's kind of what makes sense for me at the moment. is a bit of a rally to the upside. Now, easy way around this is just get on to 12, 15 minute chart, get rid of the noise, and pick up two fractional points, um, and there they are. Okay, so you're looking for a break above 11746 or alternatively to the downside, 11.708. Okay, we, we could continue to the downside. If you just look at the oscillators at the moment, um, you know, there was our selling signal there, but there's no buy signal yet on the lower time frames. If I do this on the 30, same scenario. There was my sell signal, there, there, and uh, we weren't really at a level, so it's not truly a sell signal. But um, you know, we've kind of hovering in the middle of nowhere here. So I do suspect that it's either a bit of a rally or this is going to form a pretty big channel. Or sorry, range rather than a channel. Okay. So yeah, so for me at this stage, this daily island reversal is still the one that I'm I'm more biased to uh, for the long run until so we close this gap here that that trade is still on so I'm looking for that short entry uh, could have been last night this could have been it but I um, don't normally like playing so close to the close on the deck so we'll wait and see what happens today um, one thing that I can point out for you is the decks sort of opening range uh, strategies. Uh, let's use this rather. So the DAX does have a, a tendency for the opening range to play out 
more often than not. And here you can see range target was hit and then the second range target was hit up there. And I'm almost, no, yeah, pretty much the third range, range target was also hit. Okay, so the range height, then it's 261% um, of the range, then 361.8, and then 461.8, which is the Fibonacci extensions of the range. So that typically plays out, and what you need to do is just be vigilant of um, the five minutes. Why I prefer using the six minutes because you can see that we did get a, a close just below it and a close down here, but it wasn't convincing. So in other words, that was more bottom of the range set up for a long, and you can see how it works. So this level here is 50%, sorry, that's the top of the range, 100% of the range. You can see we rallied to it, came back to the... Um, almost to the 50, the 50 is here by the spa, and then we rallied. And you can see of every level we bounced off before moving on to the upside. Okay, so that plays out more often than not, so maybe that's the, the way to do it. Wait for that first hop, that first hour, and maybe it get a little bit clearer. There's my top of the first hour. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, and I think that there's my low of that first hour. Okay. So you can see I had a pretty good rally off that opening range. And there was a break and a retest to the range, which gives you numerous entries. Okay. So I think. Uh, that's probably the best way to play it, uh, today as well. Wait for that opening range, that first hour of trading, and then take the trade from there. Um, myself, for the longer term, I'm still expecting more downside. Uh, and at this stage, we are 11.737, which is pretty much where we, where we closed. Okay, so I am expecting some more downside. But um, there may be another push up for a bigger, a better entry higher up. Okay, so that's kind of my view. But also pay attention to the the opening range. Um, if you do break up on the opening range, then just take the range targets as, as profit and look for your short entry higher up. It's only once this gap closed that this island reversal is not on anymore. Okay, so we get up to close this gap today or tomorrow. When that island reversal is off, then we need to start looking at different uh, structure but at this stage that's a structure I'm, i can see in what i'm playing okay anyway guys um that's it for me today i hope it helps and i'll catch you later cheers for now